What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Uh, talking about Detroit's cap room now that Nick Lutzer hung him up. They're going to have over $16 million in cap room. And uh, two of the prominent players on free agency uh, this year, Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter, could definitely uh, use that space up and, and help the Wings going forward. Uh, I think they'd both be willing to take less money to go to Detroit. I still think Nashville's the inside track to keep him Suter. I really do, even with this. I, I just... I think he's earned a lot there. He's um, you know, really coming to his own as a player in Nashville, and uh, he's got something good going there. They, they beat the Wings in five with Nick Lidstrom. Having said that, if Zach Parise goes there, Ryan Suter, I, I can't see Suter not following him there. Uh, obviously, two of the elite American players in the game playing on the same team in uh, one of the most all-American markets uh, would be pretty cool. But going beyond Parise and Suter, there's two undrafted, there's two collegiate free agents I think could definitely uh, tickle Detroit's fancy. Uh, one, we talked about earlier, Justin Schultz, uh, you know, Anaheim's second round pick, who's led the, NH led the NCAA in defenseman scoring each of the last two years, and it's been great in doing so, and uh, is a free agent due to not coming to terms with the, uh, the Ducks. But um, I think there's another possibility that could fit them, too. Uh, he, are, he said he's not going to sign but Danny DeKaiser, out of from Clay Township, Michigan, uh, Western Michigan defenseman, was uh, highly sought after collegiate free agent this year, and you know said he was going to go back to school. Uh, Detroit was uh, one of those players, along with uh, Tampa Bay, you know the Eisman connection that was that went hard to travel for him. And uh, I think you know with Lidstrom hanging him up, some cap room being there, chance to you know not only compete but compete in a team that you grew up rooting for. Uh, you know, I think Danny DeKaiser would behoove him to uh, take some interest in signing with Detroit. Uh, you know, I thought it'd be a great fit in Tampa, but I'm looking at you know, hit big kid at six three, uh, 200 pounds. West at 17 points this year. Western Michigan, not exactly jumping off the page yet, I do, but uh, as a full and complete two way defenseman that plays the game hard, plays the game right, and uh, is a, is it really a jack of all trades and fits Detroit's system perfectly. I think uh, if Hitchcock were to call his agent. I think it would be, like I said, it would be in DeKaiser's best interest to sign. He'll play next year, play a prominent role, and uh, you know he won't replace Nick Lidstrom, but he'll help ease the burden of uh, losing Lidstrom. You know, he'll definitely play a, a key part in Detroit's future. And uh, you know, I think Schultz is another one that could definitely sign with Detroit. I think Detroit needs some young blood on their back end. Brendan and Schultz played with Brendan Smith at Wisconsin, so you know there's a connection there. And, uh, you know, some young defensemen, you know, in addition, you know, if they sign Parisi and or Suter, that's great. But even some younger players, you know, that are 22, 23 versus, you know, the 28, 29-year-olds to really help you going forward. That can be career Red Wings and definitely help establish a, a new legacy to an already uh, highly decorated franchise. I think they'll do a great job with that. And I think, you know, they need a lot of young blood. They need young players in that team. And I think Schultz and or DeKaiser would be a great fit for them. Schultz, I mean, DeKaiser, I'd say it's not coming out. But, I, like I said, I just think with, uh, you know, Ken Hitchcock placing a call and saying, look, you grew up idolizing Lidstrom. He's gone. Why don't you uh, step into his place? And I'll do a play profile on, on DeKaiser later on. But uh, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on uh, what Detroit should do with its plethora of cap room for next year. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the... Oh, I just want to say one other thing. Um, Alex Semin, I don't know if he's the best fit for Detroit. Actually, I'm going to go keep talking. Episode's not over. Uh, maybe Dotsook can squeeze his head, but I, I like Parisi and Dotsook. Both of them play the game with the right style, right approach, uh, right defensive acumen to complement their offensive skills. So... Write that down. Uh, that's all I got for real this time. I'll uh, save you more episodes throughout the finals and beyond. Later, guys.